What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Game Day with Trey. This is your host, Trey. That's my distorted, yet homeboy and co-host face on the top. <laughs> yeah, what up, world? Yeah, I'm going to say it for <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you guys a sneak peek, early look at what's going on in the up- upcoming games in week three in the NFL. Let's go ahead and get this thing popping off with the Chargers visiting the Minnesota Vikings. So the Chargers are giving up two and a half. The Chargers are coming in this game 0-2, losing close games to the Tennessee Titans and to the Miami Dolphins. Then you got the Vikings. Vikings also coming in this game 0-2, all right? Losing close game to the – yeah, quite a close game to the Eagles. I mean, they only lost by, like, seven points. If they had scored a touchdown, they'd have won. They did cover, though, all right? And then they lost, of course, to the one and only true, real deal buckaroos. Yeah, y'all see it, big guns, baby. That's what we do down here in Tampa. But anyway, back to the story, man. Our regular broadcast is going to tell you that right now the Chargers give it up two and a half and the over-under is 54 because neither one of these teams can stop anybody. They can't stop a nosebleed. They can't hold water in them. They like a wet paper bag, all right, because they can't hold no water at all. All right, so at the end of the day right now, when you're dealing with two defenses that just can't stop anybody, and, and the thing is, the Chargers, they got a defensive head coach by the name of Brandon Staley. They got a, a Bosa over there. They got Derwin James over there. They got um, Asante a, 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 a uh, Samuel over there, Jr. They got, they, they got dogs. They got dogs. But they can't stop nothing. Nothing. So... At the end of the day, man, are the Vikings going to come up and tell these guys to hurry up and buy? You know, or is this, is this going to the moon, Batman? What's what's going on, Face? I got to take the Vikings in the over. I feel like, I feel like, I just feel like Charles is ready to fire their coach. Yeah. This is the perfect setup for that. You know what I mean? You go, you lose to Minnesota. You get him out the way. It's like I just like Kirk Cousins in this matchup, based on you know Jefferson. He got a, a hell of a receiver, Jefferson. I feel like they do four wins. All right, like so Minnesota do four wins. Hold on, man. This might be a double segment right here because that's a hot take or no weight right there. You what you just said is we looking. If you're a Charger, <laughs> right now you look at the fire Brandon Staley after this game and promote Duh. Kellen Moore. Hold up and promote Kellen Moore to the head coaching position, which is what you hired him for in the offseason. This is the storyline for this, for this game. This is the reason why y'all should watch this game. This is the reason why you tune in because of the fact that when you got storylines where you have a team that is fighting for life on both sides. You got the Minnesota Vikings with Skull and Ragnar and all and the Horn and all that stuff up there. Purple People Eaters. Then you got the then you got the the L A Chargers who have zero home and zero fans still right they, now because they just got they, the L A. They ain't got no they respect need to be yet. Charged up. They need to be charged up for this game. But the problem is, man, they ain't found the plug yet. And I don't know how you didn't find the plug out there in Cali. There's plenty of them running around. <laughs> Just saying. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, anyway, man, so you got the Chargers minus two and a half. I'm definitely taking it to the moon. And I got to take the Vikings with the points. Just because, Just because I don't believe in the Chargers defense. All those big names, all those dogs over there, they ain't stopping a nosebleed, man. They can't stop they they can't stop their kid Listen, from crying. That's a direct that's a, that that's a direct reflection of the coach. They if you got all these players, you got all this talent on your team and you can't get them to perform, it's your coach. Because you have the talent to be able to 
win games and put up numbers. Man, so let, I let, feel like they they're they gonna change. They got to change. They got to change from the top. Let's just be clear about one thing right now, right? The reason that I'm taking the Minnesota Vikings for Ed tonight, okay, over the L.A. Chargers, it's not a talent thing. It's because I believe more in the heart of Kirk Cousins and what Justin Jefferson is going to put out there. I think Jordan Addison going to put up some numbers too. Not to disparage Herbert, not to take anything away from all the weapons, Austin Eckler. Like, they got so many weapons over there, it doesn't make sense. This is a Super Bowl-caliber team that plays up to the level of the team they play against. And guess what? Chargers will charge. That's what Chargers do. But it makes perfect sense. You naming all these weapons and all these players, they don't want to play for this dude. Yeah, they it's can't. simple. Get him out of here so we can perform. Basically, that's what your players telling you. So week to week. Basically, what you're saying is the Minnesota Curbs, also known as Minnesota Vikings, and the over. Vikings in the over, y'all. Definitely. To the moon, Definitely. Batman. To the moon. All right, y'all, please like, subscribe. Holla at your boy, man. You can hit us up at everythingin3.com. We do have a message board there where you can hit us up, reach out to us. Heck, you can comment on this. You comment on this, we will get back at you. I always do, whether it's with a like or whether I actually respond. I get back at y'all, man. I'm going to get you on the phone line, too, so you can call in and chime in when you want to talk to the dogs. <laughs> when well, you want to call in and ask about the bet, or ask about a bet, we'll have the lines open for y'all soon. Yes. Hey, coming soon to a YouTube near you. We'll be at you, man. Holla at you. Peace.